Ask for the truth on behalf of Laxie Spears concerning relationship issues. Will their lives get better soon? It seems as though things just go from bad to worse, really. Things uh, are just getting getting worse and, and, and nothing seems to, to change. What's, what's going on here? Ask in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth always. And we just cut the deck for you there, uh, uh, Brettany, and then we'll just move the cards to the side. What we'll do is we'll deal out three cards in a spread. The past, the present and the future. In this case, the past is the recent past. It, it, it's like a moon phase behind, isn't it? About three or four weeks or so ago. And then, of course, the next card is the present. So that's, of course, um, Lexi Spears there right now. And then, of course, not Brittany. I'm thinking of Brittany Spears. Uh, <laughs> right, OK. Uh, joke over. Um, the next, of course, is Lexi spears in the immediate future in the next three or four weeks or so let's uh, don't let's rush things at the moment let's see uh, what lexi spears is his, his, his relationship was like just recently in the recent past about the last three or four weeks or so ago and the meaning or interpretation of this first card is what vibrated in your recent past in the relationship. Let's let's just flip this card over nice and slow there, not to disturb the energy. Let's just see what's uh, what's been going on there with you. Well, you've got uh, the element of water, just really indicating that uh, emotions were at a peak. You've got the water the water signs, haven't you? There, the uh, the Scorpio, Pisces. And um, and of course uh, the the cancer the cancer party Scorpio whatever um, and 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 they were vibrating there may maybe you're one of those signs I don't know but either way uh, that, that that the energy of, of water the element of water the energy of the element of water as you would say was vibrating there and um, and influencing your emotions in some way. And of course, emotions being at a peak, of course, maybe, of course, something had triggered it. Uh, I suppose the bad things in the relationship or whatever. Um, when I looked at the picture on the uh, the photographs that you posted there, I noticed that uh, you were both smiling out at everybody and then all of a sudden there was only... Uh, the smile went away as soon as he was kissing you there and it was like as if you were just looking at him as if... as if either embarrassed about it or, 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 or as if he was sort of playing the game, wasn't taking it seriously and maybe that's what he says to somebody in the relationship who isn't taking things too seriously, thinks it's all a game or thinks it's all about having fun and maybe spending too much overindulging or, or, or not keeping your eye on the, the bells coming in or, or the other things that may have to do with the relationship as well and uh, certain things it's all about having fun isn't it all about playing a game it's not real life to some degree it's all about kisses and cuddles and things like that when really it's about life uh, at the end of the day uh, when we all settle down uh, it's, it's about real life isn't it and maybe this sort of uh, Lexi Spears uh, just uh, looking into the camera there with the smile that's gone. Um, maybe just is is just it's probably in a way. Although your eyes are pointed toward him, um, I got a funny feeling you are actually looking away. Yeah, there's something in going through your mind there. You are looking away, or you are embarrassed about something, as if to say seriously, honestly. Uh, now maybe a bit later on now isn't the right time for that and maybe that's what it is now isn't the right what is happening now though what's what is now not the right time for now of course emotions being at a peak bad things happening well things get better what is it that's going wrong is it the, the finances in the relationship 
is it just arguments all the time what is it uh, is it somebody not taking it seriously we know why if it is let's see what's going on now though of course we can't define ourselves or a relationship or anything by what happened in the past we can learn from the past of course but we have to define ourselves and define it by what's happening now by what's happening now and let's just see serendipity there's a turn up for the books there um, looks like a bit of hope a bit of good luck for you uh, right now in the sense that uh, uh, bright new prospects are on the horizon for this relationship strangely enough um, once once the emotions uh, are all out of the way and people are being serious again maybe maybe things are looking up in the sense maybe somebody's had a, a wake-up call or had some own truths uh, spoken to them in some way by you or you by him or both if you've had to come to terms with some home truth that this isn't just what it's, it isn't all about as we said before and and maybe that's what the bright new prospects on the horizon uh, are what, what those prospects are in the sense of coming coming to your senses in some way shape or form although the darkness is there surrounded by the darkness notice nevertheless the moon the introspection of the moon there uh, of course searching within yourselves maybe that's what he tells it's more not just the relationship itself but searching within yourselves soul searching what do in a sense you have to ask yourself really what do i want from this what 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 do I really want and how do I know when I've got what I want? Let's see what happens in the immediate future. What's for the foreseeable future is just around the corner um, with these bright new prospects. What do they bring? Uh, well, love and fidelity in the sense true love and fidelity with the energy of love there. Uh, it looks as though th 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 there is faithfulness there. Although somebody may not be taking it seriously or may not have been taking it seriously and that's what's led to the the tears or what's led to the strong emotions where you just for god's sake uh, just for god's sake grow up will you uh, or something like that things bad things are happening because we're not being bloody mature about this uh, but for some strange reason we've, we've, we've come to we've sort of come to terms and that we've acknowledged that and, and now things are changing and of course yes um there's faithfulness there somebody is going to be true he's going to be true to you uh, it might be a bit of an embarrassment to you and you might be an embarrassment to him as well you never know uh you might be an embarrassment to, to, to each other but either way um you'll get through this with faithfulness and with with, with like I say, with the t togetherness or, or, or whatever you want to call it there, uh, regardless of that. But it seems as though the bad things have, have affected your emotions and of course that's it, 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 it's been something where you've virtually broke your heart over something. And, and, and maybe, um, I, I, I don't know, maybe as, as the relationship matures, the bright new prospects there are bright new prospects on the horizon for the relationship as one experiences more faithfulness more fidelity as, as as you would say i want to just pull out some runes here just to see what um uh, what energies uh, are just knocking about there uh, for each one so of course where the emotions are at a peak with the energy the, the element of water vibrating over the past three or four weeks or so where yes strength you've got the uh thirties as there they're not thirties as uh, the Uras there, the, the Uryx or the Oryx, the, the, the ancient uh, cattle or, or whatever it was, the ancient um, bull or, or it's a bull I think isn't it, the, it symbolises strength and of course with the, the, the I've got a funny feeling here as though the, the relationship was at its strongest when emotions were at their peak which usually is the case anyway isn't it as we sort of acknowledge where we are or as we express our feelings i don't know uh what's going on with the with the bright new prospects on the horizon right now what energy is there well the energy of uh, true love or or birth in, in some respects uh because this um the lad has there uh, symbolizes love doesn't it 
Uh, this is the love room, not this, and also symbolizes birth. So maybe there's something there. We can't uh, do those sort of tests and things in, in the free psychic readings group on Facebook or via the Twitter feed, as you would call it, or the YouTube channel. Uh, but, but certainly uh, get yourself checked out there. It looks as though maybe that's what it is. And that's all the more reason to remain together for the sake of. Uh, but for the sake of what? For the sake of anybody else coming in into your life, into the relationship while you're together there, as you would say. Uh, uh, with true love and fidelity, what energises that? Look at that. Uh, the algae's there, the protection. It looks as though whatever energy enters into your life in the next three or four weeks or so, whatever, if it comes in the form of a physical thing or if it comes in the form of news or news of a physical thing, news of something physical there, as we were saying there, then, then of course, uh, that will offer you protection. Um, maybe that will protect the relationship. It will give you uh, something to live for uh, in the relationship. It will give the relationship a reason to exist. Um, and, and in that sense, some, sometimes people just walk away, don't they, out of fear because they can't handle it. But other, may, may, maybe that will bring you together, make somebody wake up and realise it's time to uh, get a job if we haven't got one and, and, and get out there and, and give yourself something to work for and work toward. Or could that be somebody to work for, some work toward, of course. Uh, we don't want to really go into that sort of thing too much. Uh, but that seems to be from a relationship that's strong to pure love, as you would say. Um, r sort of leading to protection. With, uh, with emotions at their peak and serendipity right now, something uh, something bright new prospects on the higher eyes. And it depends what those bright new prospects are and what you want them to be. Whatever it is you want them or it to be, then that's it. Uh, because this looks as if things will get better. Things seem to be not going well right now, but it depends what and in what way. I get a feeling as though it's a financial thing or or something like that. And of course maybe the arguments that bring the emotions out. But nevertheless, I got a funny feeling as though things are going to pick up from a financial standpoint because they're going to have to do. Because there's a wake-up call coming your way. So just watch out for that one. Um, I won't say too much because for now, uh, we say blessed be to Odin and all the Norse gods, and uh, these runes have spoken, as you would say. And of course, these cards of water, serendipity, and uh, love and fidelity have also spoken, haven't they? And I think, uh, just to help things along a bit, just to help things heal, as you would say. Let's finally uh, spin this Buddhist prayer wheel with the mantra Omani Padme Hum, which is, of course, uh, may the duel of the eternal lotus shine upon the world. Uh, the embodiment of compassion, isn't it? May all beings be happy. May all beings be free from suffering.